18. The celebration continues for three Kababayans who won an Oscar last Sunday. Also talk to Kababayan in Hollywood, Michael Kopan. You get to talk to him and Kababayan LA starts right now. Just a little while on Cover by in LA, but before that, another man of the hour, Stephen DePianco, joined us yesterday on the phone. Now he's here live on Cover by in LA, minus the hangover. <laughs> Congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank and you. We, yesterday we weren't able to show you some, but today we're going to show you some of the photos taken from last Sunday after they won. And Take us through that briefly. I'm sure it was fun, but how many right. parties did you go to? Where did you go? Who did you bump into? And what was it like? Right. So uh, the first party we went to was at the Chateau Marmont. Uh, we were just there a little bit, and then we went on to the Sunset Tower, which was the v uh, Vanity Fair party. Uh -huh. And you know, going through the security in the limo, um, you know, they're saying who's, you know, what's the name on the list. Right. And so you just say, we just said, hey, open up the back window, and then. Luke held out the, the Oscar statue, and they're like, okay, yeah, come oh on through. Oh, gosh, yeah. And uh, it was, there were 12 of us in his entourage. Wow. <laughs> so uh -huh. um, it was, that was a new experience for me to be a part of an entourage. An entourage, yeah. yes. How nice of, of him also to share everything with you guys. You Absolutely. guys worked a lot. And when I say you guys, the Filipino producers of the film, and we were right. talking about this earlier, right. um, Luke's name. Right is nominated it's right. that's the one written beside yeah. god of love yeah. so how did this all come about that you know lo and behold there were three filipinos behind this film right well you know the first two Gigi and stephanie the other two producers had worked on the project from the beginning and um you know they they just ended up working with luke and um i'd gone to school with luke and so i knew him from before and so when i joined the team you know later on in the process uh i just said wow this is really interesting we yeah. have three filipinos uh, together and so you know I was just really surprised by that as well but um, thought it was something special and the nomination itself was a big thing um, and I'm sure it changed your life you we talked about that last Friday before right. the Oscars when you came right but how has the win yeah how is th th that statuette how yeah. did it change your whole life yeah well um, I think for myself and my mom and family members and stuff basically uh, email boxes are full and <laughs> phone hasn't stopped ringing right. and just so much just basically it seems like everybody we know around the world saw it happen right. Right. and um, and just the outpouring of congratulations and love and support yes. has been has been incredible now I guess the challenge is how now do you turn that into something more concrete into a more concrete support right. they say you know filmmaking is not easy you start right. everything on your own looking for capital looking for sponsorships and all that is this going to help? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think, you know, um, it's it's sort of, we didn't necessarily know, we were, you know, obviously we didn't know we were going to win. Right. And the, what to do, nope, there isn't necessarily like a playbook. Like, when you win the Oscar, now you're, you do, <laughs> you're supposed right, to do yeah. this. So we're really just figuring out as we go along. Uh -huh. But, you know, we're, we're, we're doing as good a job as we can of trying to, you know, capitalize on this attention uh -huh. and, you know, hopefully build for the future. Right. Um, and so when you say build for the future, I know Gigi is working on something on her own. Right. Stephanie is working on something on her own. Right. You are working on something on your own. Right. Let us first talk about what you're working on individually. Right. So Gigi currently is she's producing a couple uh, couple films. She's got a feature going going on, and she's also producing at least one or maybe a couple of shorts. Um, Stephanie, you know, is and they're both in New York. Stephanie and Gigi. Mm -hmm. um, and Stephanie is working. Um, you know, on, on eventually, hopefully, moving back to the Philippines and starting right. a production Which company. Wanting to do that, yes. Exactly. You know, I've got this uh, personal documentary called Home Unknown that I'm working on now, and you know, will continue to work on um, while doing some other projects. And you know, all of us I know are very interested in, you know, hopefully working with Luke again. Right. Um, you should collaborate. Obviously, something beautiful came out of that collaboration absolutely. with Luke, right? Yeah, and he's a. Uh, you know, I feel like he's one of the hottest people in Hollywood right now. Right you now, know, it's really yeah. incredible. His speech 
uh, was just lauded by everybody. Justin Timberlake told him that night, really? uh, you know, hey, that was like the highlight of the show. Yeah, who, who, who did you bump into at the parties? Yeah, so... The, so Party hopping. <laughs> right, so um, people people were coming up, you know, and congratulating us and Luke and, and uh, Quentin Tarantino came up to Luke and... The big one for Luke that was the biggest was uh, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks came up to him just totally beaming, really, really? happy, and said, you know, a star is born right. to Luke. And, and Luke, one of his favorite films is actually Joe vs. the Volcano. Oh, okay. And so Luke told him that it was one of his favorite films, which took Tom Hanks by surprise. No, movies. it isn't. It exactly. Isn't. But we also saw we also saw uh, Haley Steinfeld and uh, got to. Uh, well, how was that her. Filipino connection like? It was great. It was great. Yeah, it was really nice. I think Stephanie had met her a couple nights before at another party, mm -hmm. um, and so they got to they recognized each other and got to talking, and uh, she was just just incredibly just friendly and really nice and uh, great to meet her. And now the question is, are you guys planning on going to the Philippines? Everyone there just loves you. <laughs> you they meet you they yeah. want to do something with you over there yeah I would love to go to the Philippines I don't have you know any sort of specific plans but you know if people are interested in inviting us to the right, Philippines right. I'm sure we would love to come okay that's a call to people yeah. out there in the <laughs> Philippines you know they are waiting to be invited come on guys get a move on <laughs> uh, 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 advice for people out there I, there are, there's a lot of Filipino filmmakers or aspiring to be filmmakers Absolutely. what is what what do you think is the formula for making it? I think it's um, you know everybody says that filmmaking it's a really a collaborative process, and you know you can't collaborate by yourself. By yourself. <laughs> so you know I think that uh, what we did on this project was a lot of you know people working together mm -hmm. and sharing their talents and their passion, and you know it's it's hard when you're just starting out. Um, to, to just have the motivation and the drive with so many setbacks. Mm -hmm. But if you have somebody to, to share that process with, you know, somebody who you believe in, trust, and you really enjoy, that can really take you far. And that picture says a lot. You work with people that you like, you love, and you share everything with them, all the ups and the downs as well. And for now, the victory and the celebration. Congratulations Thank once you. again. And please come back. I want to talk to you about Home Unknown next time on Cabo Bay in LA, Absolutely. right? Thank you so are you continuing to party or are you working for now? Are you done no, with so the drinking? Much, yeah, uh, no, I mean, there was only there was only two glasses of <laughs> champagne. The best thing, though, was they had they had in and out at the uh, at the party. Oh, you didn't get to eat? Well, they no, they. I mean, they had you know they had all sorts yeah, of food, including in including In and Out. That was really a big highlight. Wow! So In and Out and champagne. Yes. Okay. How yeah. did that taste like? It was fantastic. fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. And yes, I'd love to have you back and let's talk about Home Unknown. I hear it's something very intriguing as well. Thank you. So more power to you. Thank you, John. Magbabalik pa po ang kababayan LA. We're just getting started. Don't go away.